to be toxic to others is far easier than it has ever been. According to the University of Copenhagen, Ulm University, and the University of Cumberland, Landau, toxic people have nine common negative traits, egoism, Machiavellianism, moral disengagement, narcissism, psychological entitlement, psychopathy, sadism, self-interest, and spitefulness. Does this sound like you? Probably not. People need to think about their actions though. It helps to checkmate our tendencies so that we don't hurt others without knowing. It can easily be damaging to the mind if you feel bad about your actions and feel like there is no remedy. Thankfully, there are things you can do to help you avoid this type of situation. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 7 signs you are becoming toxic. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos like this one. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel, learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thank you. 1. You need help all the time. According to Hack Spirit, a toxic person is someone who makes others feel bad with actions or words. Note that what makes others feel bad may appear perfectly normal to you. The only way you can actually know is when you put yourself in their shoes. Imagine if you split your earnings with a friend because he is yet to get a job and after a while you propose reducing what you give him to cover some debts and he flares up. How would you feel? Some people are so used to help from others, they take it for granted that others are not helping because they are obligated but because they care. Some people just want attention and care from others. They always seem to have one challenge or the other and their friends and families are supposed to rally around them. They also never really try figuring out a way out of their problems because they have mental security that other people will clean up their mess. Is this you? You can find out if you're becoming toxic by asking yourself some simple questions. Do you feel entitled to time? Do you thank your friends when they do things for you? Do you think you have a lot of problems and others should help you solve it? Do you need constant support but don't learn and grow from your experience? Do you want your friends or loved ones to spend time with only you? Do you make some people feel guilty for not helping you? Does any of that sound like you? Well, if it does, it's not late. There's really nothing wrong with asking for help or needing help. You just have to know where to draw the line. Don't make others feel guilty for not wanting to help or choosing themselves. No one owes you anything. If you insist they do, you are actually toxic to them. 2. You mostly care about yourself. We all care about ourselves, right? If you don't, you should. You can't do much if you're not fine. According to the Talented Ladies Club, toxic people are so busy thinking of themselves that they rarely show any concern for others. Caring about others is different from neglecting others. People who are toxic to others usually ask a lot from others. Imagine asking a friend to stay up and wake you up later in the night when you both have the same exams to prepare for. Does he or she not also need as much rest as you do? These things also may not seem to mean much, but they actually hurt others over a period of time. Don't make your friends make sacrifices if you don't feel like it. Don't ask of them anything that makes them uncomfortable simply because you feel that if placed in their position, you would do the same. This is very unfair. Everyone is different and your duty as a friend is not to change them into you but to respect their values and beliefs. All it would accomplish is to make them feel inadequate. 3. Are you overly dramatic? Do your friends always come to ask you for forgiveness over things they seem not to understand? You are probably an amazing person. That's why you have friends. People who are not friendly typically have no friends. When you have friends, you care for them and work with them to birth your dreams and aspirations. This is very important in friendship and even relationships. If the person only brings drama, you are very likely to be unhappy in the relationship. Do you complain about everything? If you don't know, ask your friends honestly. You need to stop. If you don't do this, you may end up without friends at all. No one likes feeling confused about a relationship. It brings uncertainty and people 
for the most part, prefer to be certain about things. Drama is not good for anyone. You may go on telling others that you are not happy with you while he or she is completely unaware of what the challenge is. More often than not, when they find out, they may then start trying to make amends. But guess what? Such behavior is one that is likely to make your friends tired. It will seem like an unending cycle of drama. It will make them unhappy. 4. You make other people feel bad. Have you ever had an argument where you poked on your friend's confidence to even the score? If you have, you really shouldn't be doing that. According to Psychology Today, toxic people often make you want to fix them and your problems. They want you to feel sorry for them and responsible for what happens to them. People who are this way poke at your confidence so that you are dependent on them and the friendship. It also helps them deal with their self-esteem problems. They feel that if you are also a mess mentally, you will somehow be more at your level than you currently are. This type of friendship has no bright future. The trouble is that your friend who is toxic does not even know they are. This can make it difficult to work with them. You're better off on your own. If you stay, you might get hot. 5. You make others responsible for your feelings. There's always a friend who doesn't take some kind of jokes and who flares up at things you would assume should hurt no one. Are you this friend? Everyone has a right to act in any way they choose. This, of course, has consequences, but they are still free all the same. You should not hold people responsible for how you feel. How you feel is up to you because it is no one's responsibility to make you happy. The difference between toxic people and emotionally healthy people is that toxic people has no emotional defenses. Their feelings are so raw and unprotected that the slightest thing can hurt them. Something as petty as an unreturned text, call or email, or the wrong expression on someone's face, the tiniest unintentional thing can set them off. This is not the ideal type of relationship anyone should keep. They can get annoyed at essentially anything. You're supposed to feel at peace with a friend and not be worried that you may say the wrong thing all the time. Normal people think things better. They can approach you subsequently to say that when you said something earlier that they felt unhappy but with the right motive to inform you. Toxic people will simply blame you for being so insensitive when you didn't even know what they may have been going through. Does this sound familiar? If it is, you need to be careful. Your friends won't stay patient forever. 6. You think the world revolves around you The funny thing about this is that you will feel that what you are doing is perfectly normal. But do your friends see it this way? You probably shouldn't ask them. Has any one of your friends even told you that they feel trapped in the relationship that they feel they give more than they take? If they haven't, you are in luck. If they have, you should probably consider doing some self-awareness exercises. There may be deep psychological challenges that you have left unresolved. This can only get worse if you do nothing about it. With people who are toxic, people can't really share their experiences. The toxic person always has a far worse experience to compare it with. This can make your own experience pale and insignificant. This will not do much to you, will it? So if your friendship isn't well balanced, if you find yourself frequently being a shoulder to cry on for someone or talking a friend down from some emotional cliff, and not being afforded the same time and care in return. Maybe it's time to reconsider whether this is someone you really want to confine in going forward. 7. Do you celebrate other people's happiness? This may sound absurd to ask because most people celebrate the good fortune of their friends, and anyone who doesn't is regarded as a monster. It may, however, be more complicated than you think. People who are toxic don't always rejoice at the good fortune of their friends. They, on the contrary, feel threatened. The friendship is usually based on the idea that they are better than you in some way and that you make them feel good about themselves. When a new circumstance threatens this reality, they don't take it well. If the thing you got later doesn't work out, they don't sympathize for long because they naturally were never happy you were going for something higher. You need to wake up from your mirage and see these friends for who they really are. They may not really know what they are doing, but you don't deserve to be treated that way. 
You deserve supportive and kind friends and the only way you are going to get them is to let go of the ones that are holding you back from truly leaving. If you're one of our great fans who have been wanting to know who is behind this channel, now you can know. Kindly check the description box to join Steve Courage's personal channel, learn directly from him or ask him any questions. Thank you.